make a Christmas photo card, something like this. Uh, and we're going to be using Canva to create. Now Canva is a free online software that helps you make designs like this. If you don't have Canva, don't worry, you can sign up for free. And if you don't want to use Canva, you'd rather use something like Microsoft Word or Pages, which is already on your computer to create your design, then uh, just uh, see the description below and there'll be a link to a tutorial on how to create a card like this on Microsoft Word or Pages. But today in this video, we're going to see how to make this design in Canva. Now let's get started. First, you're going to launch your web browser. I'm using Chrome. Head to Canva, that's www.canva.com. Now, when you reach, you'll find a page like this. You will need to log in or sign up. Now, there is a free version of Canva that you need to use. You don't need to pay money to use this. So just click on sign up and create your account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to be signing in. Once you've signed into your account, you'll encounter a page like this. What we want to do is we want to create a design. So go here to create a design. We're going to use custom dimensions. Select inches, five by seven. This is the standard card size and that's the size that we're going to go with today. Create design. Now we get our canvas over here. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're just going to go to our upload section. Now I have lots of things that I've already uploaded here, but don't worry, you don't need to have any of this. I'm going to show you how to create a design from scratch even when you don't have anything uploaded here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your finder, you're going to go to your windows, open your clip art folder. You would have purchased, a, you know, card background pack perhaps. Uh, if you haven't, no worries, use whatever graphics you have on hand. You can use, you know, Christmas wreaths or borders, whatever. So I'm going to be using this border from my merriest Christmas uh, design pack. All right. So you're going to just drag and drop it. Okay. Just drag and drop and it'll get uploaded. You see here it's getting uploaded again. So wait till it gets fully uploaded. And then now it's uploaded here. All right, just click on it to select it. And then you don't have to hold down on shift key or anything. Just simply drag it to the corners to get it to cover your entire canvas. All right, there you have it. We have our background ready. Now we want to place our photo in this space. For that, again, go to your folder, find your photo and just drag and drop it. Same thing again, wait for it to upload fully. Now that it's uploaded, we will position it. Now you want to make sure that you've lined up two of these borders and then come to the opposite end and again just select it and drag. Stop when you're okay with the, different, uh, with the distance between happy holidays and uh, the photo. Now what we need is we need to fill up this space. So just use this slider and drag. Canva will automatically crop your image. Done. Okay, now that's done. You can just hold it and move it a little bit so that Canva can automatically center it. You saw that pink line that means your photo is centered. Now we've placed our image, we have our background, Time for some text, you know, just select any of these. I've selected subheading because I wanted a slightly uh, simple kind of a font. I'm going to write, add your text, whatever your text might be, add it here and you can change the font here. Okay, you can change it here. You can also search for a font that you know the name of. I really like this font called Montserrat. So I'm gonna go with Montserrat Classic. I'm going to reduce the size, make it a little small. Use this button to again, select and drag it down to position it. And then I'm going to go to the spacing and increase the letter spacing because that makes it look more modern. There you go. 
Now, okay, I made my might change this font a bit. Just take your time to select your font and adjust. Play around with it. Okay, now I'm happy with this design. Now what I'm going to do is I need to save it in a format that is good enough to be printed. So I'm going to go to publish, download, over here, click on it and select PDF print. That's the only print quality that you'll get out of all of this. Please don't go for this PMG uh, which has been suggested because it's high quality only for web but not for print. So if you're going to be sending something only on phones or emails then all right. This is okay, you can go for PNG or JPG. But if you want to print your cards out, then I recommend that you go for PDF print. Select that. And if you want crop marks, you know, there'll be little marks over here on the corner for you to cut it, then you can select that. I don't need that, so I'm going to just select PDF print and click on download. And that's it. Your design has been downloaded. Go to downloads and open it. Here it is, our design is now ready to be printed. So friends, I hope you found this easy, uh, this tutorial easy to follow and you're going to be making your Christmas cards this way. As you see, this is a really quick and easy way to make your Christmas cards, especially if you have your graphics and background ready to go. You just need to add your photo and text and you're done. So. Thank you so much for watching this video and please uh, leave your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.